Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we explore the world of automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. Today, we've got something exciting for you, so stick around and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. Let's get started. When using the Obstar DC706 ECU tool to clone the Volkswagen Continental Simos 10.22 TC1767 ECM by boot, there are several detailed steps and requirements to follow to ensure a successful and safe operation. Here's a deep dive into the process. Preparation. Equipment. Obstar DC706 ECU tool. This tool is the primary device used to perform the cloning process and other ECU operations. Main cable. This cable connects the DC706 tool to the MP001 programmer. Obstar P004 ECU clone jumper. This accessory is used to connect the MP001 programmer to the Simos 10.22 ECM. Obstar MP001 programmer. The MP001 programmer is crucial for reading and writing data to the ECU. VW Continental Simos 10.22 ECM. Both the original and new ECMs are required for the cloning process. Power supply. Ensure that the MP001 programmer is powered during the process. Software update. Make sure the Obstar DC706 tool is updated to the latest software version, version 30.60, to support the cloning process. Connect the DC706 tool to an available Wi-Fi network to perform any necessary software updates. Clone process. 1. Connect the components. Use the diagrams provided by Obstar to make the correct connections. Connect the boot, MP001 programmer, and Simos 10.22 ECM using the P004 ECU clone jumper. Connect the MP001 programmer to the DC706 tool using the main cable. Provide power to the MP001 programmer. Ensure all connections are secure and stable. 2. Access the cloning function. Navigate the menu on the DC706 tool. Select ECU Flasher, All, EECM, ECMB 30.60, Simos 10.22, Volkswagen Continental Simos 10.22, Beta, TC1767. Choose the appropriate options, Boot and MP001. 3. Read data from original ECM. Once the DC706 tool is connected to the original Simos 10.22 ECM, start the process by selecting the read options. Read the INT Flash and INT EEPROM, TC1767, data separately. Save the data to the DC706 tool for later use. 4. Write data to new ECM. Disconnect the original ECM and connect the new Simos 10.22 ECM to the DC706 tool using the same setup. Select the write options for both INT Flash and INT EEPROM. Load the previously saved data from the original ECM onto the new ECM. 5. Verify. After completing the write process, verify that the data has been successfully transferred to the new ECM. Ensure the new ECM functions as expected and without errors. 6. Finalize. After completing the read and write operations, click Disconnect on the DC706 tool. Safely disconnect all the components and test the new ECM in the vehicle. Supported functions of Obstar DC706. IMMO Data Decryption. Decrypts immobilizer data for secure access and control of the ECU. Odometer recalibration. Adjusts the odometer data for accuracy. Lock and unlock ECU. Provides the ability to control the ECU security state. Read and write operations. Supports reading and writing full and partial INT flash data, e.g. MPC 5634 and EEPROM data. Safety and best practices. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions and safety guidelines. Ensure the vehicle is turned off and the battery is disconnected before performing any ECU operations. Double-check all connections and settings before starting the process. Be cautious when handling sensitive data and components to prevent damage or corruption. By following these detailed steps and safety practices, you can successfully use the Obstar DC706 tool to clone the Volkswagen Continental Simos 10.22 TC1767 ECM. That's a wrap for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this dive into the world of automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more great content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.